My first year in the Dominican Republic, I had a Dominican washing machine, but I will not go back to those days. I hope we never have to go back to those days. One year after I got my Dominican washing machine for 10,000 pesos, it broke. It was brand new, it was really tiny, but still, it was new, and there was no reason it should have broke, and it started electrocuting me. It would like give me a shock when I would reach in and take the clothes out, which apparently is common. Our washer sounds so sad. First of all, it's in the shower because it's leaking and it won't stop leaking. I think it's time is almost up, just about. And I bought it last year. I bought it brand new from the store, Iberia, which is one of the nicer stores in San Pedro. I don't know what we're gonna do. I gotta talk to Mariano. But after it broke, that gave us the perfect reason to switch to an automatic one. Now, a Dominican washer is good if there isn't any water pressure so if the water pressure is really low then a dominican washer is good or if you live somewhere where the water doesn't come regularly or if you don't have access to running water then a dominican washer is perfect for that it also doesn't use much electricity and they're very cheap compared to the other ones however there are three negatives to the dominican washer Number one, it is time consuming. It is all consuming. Laundry day is an all day task and many people do it. Many people have Dominican washers and laundry day takes all day long. They devote one day a week to laundry and it works for a lot of people. I did not want to spend my time doing laundry all day every single week. So for me, it was hard being so time consuming. Number two, it is physically exhausting because you have to pick up the clothes and pick up the pile from the one part to the other part. So you have to take it out of the water and then you have to spin it. Then you have to take it from the spinner, put it back in the wash. Then from the wash to the spinner, then back to rinse. And clothes, when they are wet, they are kind of heavy. So there were days when my back would hurt really bad and Mariano had to do the wash. I couldn't, I couldn't even do it. And number three, they're really rough on my clothes. I had to put all of my clothes into those laundry mesh bags and they would destroy the bags. I can't even imagine what they would have done to my clothes. So I'm glad I had bags, but I went through at least 10 laundry bags in a year because they would just rip and shred. So those washers are really, really harsh on clothes. They are not gentle. Even the gentle cycle is not gentle. I pretty much used the Dominican washer for a year straight and Mariano and I got married during that year. We go to the gym every day and we had a lot of clothes. So that washer only lasted us a year and then it broke. So for a while we used our neighbors, but then he moved, then we would go to different people's houses. That was really hard because we would have to carry piles and piles of laundry on the motorcycle and take them to other people. And then finally, I was able to get an online job where we could finally buy an automatic American washer. But we were hesitant to get one for several reasons. First of all, they are expensive. Thankfully, we got ours on sale. There was a Mother's Day sale at Jumbo, so we were able to get ours on sale, and it was free delivery, which was really nice. Also, automatic washers use a ton of water, and they require water pressure. So we were not at a place where we even had room for it before, but once we moved into this apartment, there was a water pump, so we were able to get the automatic washer. They do use a lot of electricity, a lot more electricity compared to the other one. However, we needed a change. So in our opinion, the American washer, the benefits of it far outweigh the negatives. It is fast. It takes the same amount of time to wash the clothes, but all I have to do is just put the clothes in and then it does it by itself. So I can go do other things while the clothes are washing, which is fantastic. It is easy, physically easy to just put the clothes in and be done. 
I don't have to hurt my back bending over constantly anymore. And it is gentle on my clothes. I don't even use the laundry bags anymore. I do for certain delicate things, but for most of my clothes, I do not use those mesh bags anymore. It is very gentle on my clothes. There's a bunch of different settings. It is so fancy. And did I mention it is fast? We have saved hours and hours and hours of our lives getting the American washer. So if you're moving to the Dominican Republic or you're contemplating, should I get a Dominican washer? Should I get an American washer? Get an American washer. Invest in an American washer. You will not regret it. Unless you're in a place where you can't get one, then obviously you gotta get a Dominican one. So now we have an automatic washer. We have hot water. I feel like we are set for life. What else do you need in life? Oh, a bed. We need a bed. I'm doing fine. So is your worried mind. Sit back and close your eyes. Yeah, yeah. This land is a paradise. And the people are so very nice. I'm happier than I've ever been.